So in this video, we're going to be doing uh, some actual cart bath drawing instead of uh, just telling you how to do it. So let's jump into Inkscape. So this is Hershey Country Club. And uh, what I wanted to show you here was this cart path right here, because this is a somewhat complex one. And you can see what makes it complex is that it branches out. And you might recall from our Inkscape theory that anything, any shapes that are the same type that touch each other must be joined together. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a cart path and then ultimately how to join it together. Because when we trace this out, obviously we can't really just split all these different directions. Um, so we're going to have to draw it a couple times and then, um, and then join it together. So how's that look? So first of all, let's uh, turn on our Bezier tool over here and let's zoom in a little bit. And first thing I'm going to do is let me just make sure that my stroke is turned on here. And you can see that it is not. Um, so let me go into my stroke and fill tool. Let me turn off fill. I'm going to turn on stroke. And then I'm going to go stroke style. And two and a half meters is good. And I think one thing I actually also forgot to show you in the last one is you can, you can select the cap too. So if I change this, it'll flatten it out. Safest bet though is to keep it round. Okay, um, that's going to avoid potential issues in Blender later on. Um, so we're just going to keep it round. So let me just delete that shape. And let's start again. So here's the beginning of a cart path. And I am just going to very purposely trace this out and stay as close as the middle as I possibly can. Middle mouse button will allow me to pan over. Here we go. I should have probably started closer in because this is boring for you guys just to watch me click a single cart path here until we get up to the up here where we need to make a decision. And my decision is going to be, I'm just going to follow what is to me is like the most natural thing, which is this outside piece here. And then go up here, oops, let me click here, here, and now I right click and that finishes it. And you can see that I now have my cart path and it's the width is pretty good. It was two and a half meters. I'm going to come up here to path and of course it's not showing my menu but i'm selecting stroke to path and when i do that this turns into a stroke because you can see now that i have all these lines around the outside and i'm going to select it as concrete so now i have a concrete and where did it put this okay it was in my cart paths here which is, i have all the way up here on the top now I've got this other section down here, which I need to do. And let me just get it kind of centered here. It's hard to tell where it ends here, but I think it's, yeah, it ends right about there. So let me do another one here where I start here. I'm going to trace this one out. Looks like there's some <laughs> golf carts actually on that path there. And hopefully you guys aren't getting deafened by the guy mowing my lawn who was driving right by my window. And you see when I drew this, I went right over the old other one. Okay, and you're gonna see what's gonna happen here in a minute or two after I do that, how we're gonna join these together. Right click, oops, looks like fill got turned back on for some reason. So it's a good thing to show you guys what happens. So I'm gonna turn fill off, there we go. And so now what do I need to do? Well, I need to go here to path. And again, sorry, it's not showing my menu for you guys. It's popping up on my other screen for some reason. I need to figure that out. I select stroke the path. And now it became, becomes a path. It's no longer a stroke. It's got a fill and now it's concrete. Now, right now these look like they're one object, but they're actually two separate objects, right? So if I come up here, the other one, I can select these as two different objects. But because they're the same material, uh, Blender's not going to like this. So because there's an overlap here, we actually want to join these together. So I'm going to highlight them both. I'm going to hold down Shift 
And now I've got both of these selected and I can verify this over here. I got both of these paths selected. I can go here to path and now, even though you can't see it, I'm going to select union. And you can see when that happens, they now get joined together in their one path. However, we need to be very careful. Remember, I think I said it in another video, is you need to look at the union points. So any place where these overlapped, let's look at our node editor and see what happened. Make sure we don't have any double nodes and any sharp corners. So we definitely got some sharp corners. And we want to fix these anyways, because in real life, typically cart paths don't look like this. They don't have these sharp corners. They're typically a little rounded. So what I do is I change this to a rounded node. And then what you can do is you can just kind of move this so that it looks a little bit different. If I move that there, it actually looks good. There, I'm just making sure there's no doubles here. Oops, go back to my node select tool. This is another one. I'm gonna move this one out a little bit and I'm gonna select this one and auto round it. And then again, we can just kind of move this out. You have to play with these to see what looks good. So that looks pretty good. Let me click away. Eh, I'm not sure. This one also looks a little funky. Let me go back in here and just see what this looks like. Ah, it's because this one here, I'm gonna move that in that way. There, that looks much better now. Let me go back down to this other one. I like this, and I bet this one's too far. Yeah, let's just move this this way. That looks pretty good, All right? If I click away, that looks pretty natural, right? It's because carts could go this way, and we don't have those real sharp corners anyway. It looks a little bit more flowy to me. And now we've got a single car path, okay? Um, and that's it. That's how you draw your car path. Now, notice that this is also in the top layer. Another option is I could have just taken this cart path and I could have put it at the top of hole one because hole one is on top of hole two. And if I'm combining, if this cart path spans two holes and, and really guys, I'll cover this in, in another video is you don't want really long cart paths because they can have issues. And in a, a, another video here, I think it'll be right after this one, I'll talk about how to divide up your cart paths strategically and how to get rid of cart path loops. Okay, so make sure you're on the lookout for that video. Um, but now you know how to draw cart paths and put them in your project.